This is code.org. Let's take a look at these challenges. Debug hidden shapes. Reveal the picture under the red circle. Alrighty, I'm going to click on this. Now, the code below show, should be making a pretty picture, but right now only one ellipse is show, showing up. Debug the code so that the picture shows on the right. All right, so notice not just our red circle. Now, keep in mind with code and with the computer, the order you give, can I zoom in? Yeah, sure. The order you give instructions, I'm going to show this, is the order they are done, right? So here, we'll call this, I'll say it's a marker now, all right? So we tell the computer, hey, computer, get an orange marker. And it says, okay. On line one, it grabs that orange marker. On line two, it's drawing this ellipse, however big that circle ellipse is. On line three, we say, okay, now grab a yellow marker. Draw this ellipse. Okay, and it does that. Now, we're not seeing any of this. Line five, it grabs a green marker. Line six, it draws this ellipse, so on and so forth. Now, why are we only seeing red? Well, I know it's drawing these, right? It is. We're asking it to do it. The computer does it, period, as long as the code's in the right order, which it is. We give it a color. We give it a shape, so on and so forth. So what's going on here? Well, let's take a look at ellipse. X, Y, so that's its position, right, on the screen. You can kind of see when I hover over or use the grid. And then what are these next two numbers? Width and height. Width and height is how big a circle is, right? How big the ellipse is. Well, if I go all the way down, zoop, what has the biggest numbers for width and height? The red. What's the last thing to be drawn? The red ellipse, right? This ellipse is going to be drawn last because it's at the bottom. So if you draw 10 shapes and then draw on one piece of paper and then draw one giant red circle at the end, what's going to be on top? What covers up everything? The last thing you draw, right? Because you drew it at the end and you drew a giant thing on that same piece of paper. So this stuff is there, at least it should be. We just can't see it yet. Now, if we want it to look like this, maybe like a lollipop or some weird targety thing, we would want it to go in order. So the biggest circle, right, would be in the back. And that would be because you want to be able to have see just the edge and then the next biggest and then the next. And that allows you just to see kind of the edge, the brim of each. So I'm going to take this biggest circle. And if we want it behind everything, we have to draw it first because we then want to draw everything on top of it. Now, let's make sure. Is this the next biggest? Looks like it. Now it looks to go in order. Let's see. But -da! awesome. OK, so we got that one. Continue. And let's try these others. Debug missing shapes. All right. Ooh, that looks trippy. When the code below is run, nothing shows up. That is true. Debug the code so that the images show up. OK. So we have, we should have a black rectangle. Oh, and then a white rectangle, then a black rectangle. So this is similar to what we just did. What gets drawn first? The first thing you tell the computer is the first thing you draw. So we say get some, get a black marker and draw this rectangle. White marker, then draw this rectangle. Black marker, all the way down to here. And the last thing we draw is a white rectangle. So white, we're not going to be able to see unless there's something behind it. I bet this has to do with stuff getting covered up. Okay. So my first thing will be to this is a very large black rectangle. I don't know if this is right, but I do know, like last time in that last puzzle we just did, this is width, this is height. So 300, 300 for rectangle, width and height is big. So I wonder what happens if I pull this down here. Nothing. Hmm, tricky. Oh, interesting. I'm putting it back. I just noticed something. X, Y. X, Y. Let's do show grid. Zero x 400 x where's 500 somewhere over here right this is x and these are all set to 500 but it's supposed to look like this so 500 is totally off this screen i wonder i'm not sure maybe they meant 50 and they just put a double extra zero let's see interesting i'm gonna fill in 50 for all of these and see what we got Hmm, not quite.
what if we do 25? It's going to be a bit of guessing. Hmm, maybe I'm going to keep going with that. Oh, so it has to be a different... Hmm. We're getting closer. So now I'm just missing that top portion, which would be Y. So let's try counting 60, 70, 80, except, wait a minute. So zero, zero up here for Y is zero. So if we're moving the, no, that's good. We'll be pushing that white square. Let's see. This one's tricky. Oh, we're close. Oh, and let's do 100. But uh I think we got it. Huh. That one's kind of cool. You know, not to be... I think we want to shift that over a bit. So I'm going to move it over. I have no idea. I'm going to start at 20 because those is closer to the edge, but not right on it. So, and then I'm going to continue to do what I was 20, 30. Oh yeah. I'm liking that more. So it's more shifted and I think that is looking better. Cool. And let's hit finish. And then our last one. Finish the scene. Be creative and finish strong however you want. Oh, cool. Okay. So I'm just going to add a few things then. Let's do a rectangle. Oh, I get to pick a color. Um, now let's do yellow. And rectangle. Oh, not. Oh. I don't care about the stroke. I wanted the fill. There we go. And then let's say my size will be 150, 150. And for Y, because I want it up, zero here is Y, right? At the top is zero Y. So I'm going to put it up 50 to move up. Okay. And then let's do 200 to center at X. And then I actually want 100. 100? Oh, right. It's drawn from the right side. So 150. <laughs> and... Let's do a uh, ellipse. Oh, I got to pick a color. Well, that's really big. I'm going to do 2020. <laughs> I'm making a Cyclops. I'm just going to copy this ellipse Ooh, in color. And this will be white. And this will be 10 and 10. <laughs> I love it. And then I guess we'll give them legs. Should I? No. I'll do yellow legs. Oh, boys. Uh, for width, I'm going to do 30. And for height, I'm going to do 60. And then Y, let's do 300. <laughs> awesome. Just gonna copy that and I don't know, add 200 to it. Oh, too much. Yeah. He doesn't need arms. He's cool enough with his legs. Sweet. Onward. Oh, maybe we need a sun. See, this is what I do. It's doing an ellipse. And we already have it set to yellow. So I'm gonna do 50, 50. 50, 50. Beautiful. Look, there's a little sun moon thing. pa -da! Onward. And I think, yeah, we got them all. Cool.